Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Mr. Hyde Builder Figure Wave Civil Warrior Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. Hyde Beast, we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't. Six figures in a wave, you'll need all six figures to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. And a quick look at the artwork on the left side of the box. You can see down at the bottom it says Contest of Champions. The artwork is the same on the left and the right. And there's a quick frontal view. You can see up at the top it says Gamerverse. Alright, let's bust this bad boy open and see what's what. Alright, here we go. Gamerverse. Contest of Champions video game Civil Warrior Captain America. This is Captain America and a sort of makeshift armor put together from remnants of one of Tony's old armors after Tony fell in battle after the Civil War. If this scope looks familiar, it's because it is. This is based on the same body that they utilize for the Supreme Hydra Captain America and Arnim Zola 2 pack. A pretty perfect reuse, if I must say so. You'll never escape the reuse molds in the action figure world but when it's done right I got to give credit where credit is due and it's a pretty slick sleek looking armor here for Captain America I've never played the game I'm not interested in playing the game not really interested in this figure but he is packed in with the head to complete the Mr. Hyde builder figure and the figure is actually well done and a nice looking figure some nice textures and colors and it does look accurate to the video game design in my opinion I especially like the helmet see that big A on the forehead it's sharp it looks good the helmet looks sleek you can see that star on his chest good sculpt in there it is raised a little bit kind of weird that he's got armor on the upper torso but he needs a belt <laughs> I guess they needed something to, to break up the sculpt here or whatever or for the design to kind of all come together but that is kind of weird and while the hands are removable he does not come with any additional hands his only accessory aside from Mr. Hyde's head is his shield this looks a little different than the typical Captain America shield I'm not sure if it has some gadgets or doodads or something in there you guys let me know in the comments below oh I forgot to read his bio his bio on the back of the package reads an alternate earth Ravaged by civil war, Captain America assumes the mantle of civil warrior. I really do hate this uh, clip design for the shield. He does have the peg there, which would normally peg into the back of a figure with a peg hole in the back, but this figure does not have a peg hole, so you won't be able to do that. The clip-on mechanism for his wrist will work for about... 24 hours maybe before you break it I've already stressed it I talked about this in the review of the Supreme Captain America and Arnim Zola 2 pack how they need to retire this particular function or feature on the shields it just does not really work well now you can see on the inner portion it looks quite different than a lot of the shields we received in the past I actually thought you could clip out that whole inner portion and just remove it but it's not coming out I don't really know what the deal is with that maybe again this is some sort of mechanical working shield that does a bunch of different things i would assume that's the case again you guys let me know in the comments below looks like they may have been trying to replicate tony's arc reactor here in the center of the shield it's indented a bit at that uh inner portion as well so pretty standard articulation for a male marvel legends figure of course you can pop the head off i'll see if i could get a steve rogers head on there at some point but typical ball peg he'll look down he'll look up pretty far Turn left to right, you can do a full 360 pivot. No issues with the head. Shoulders on a ball joint, come up that far. You can do a full 360, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, swivel and a hinge on the wrist. Ab articulation goes forward just that much. More movement going towards the back. You do have a waist swivel that's not really hindered by this belt. T-joint at the pelvis, leg will come up pretty far. Split will look like that. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, you get a hinge and a nice deep ankle pivot. All right, one quick size comparison and I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm eager to get the Mr. Hyde Builder figure built. Got one more part to pop on, that's his leg, which comes with Iron Man, so he will be the next review, the final single carded figure in this wave. But on the left, we have the Red Onslaught Builder figure wave, Taskmaster. Totally forgot that this was the original buck that the Supreme Captain America on the right was based on, or Hydra Supreme Captain America. So you got all of these stacked up, and I totally forgot that the Hydra Supreme Captain America did have an open hand. So he definitely could have given you some other hand 
different options with this Civil Warrior character. But I assume that because they gave out all the other hand options with the Shang-Chi characters in this wave that they kind of skimped on Civil Warrior here. So definitely not a figure that I really care about, but you will need him if you want to complete the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. So you'll have to pick him up. All right, thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. Every in the telly getting bombed. Passion on my chest, attraction on my wrist. I'm patient, but my infatuation with being rich had no limitation, with no explanation. Paper from all angles, one destination. Uh, and there's the Game of Verse Captain America head sculpt on a Civil Warrior body. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, bye. I keep every flick, 50 deep at the creek, peep every chick.